What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to round off where we left off, I believe we have managed to intercept this force in a river battle. And river battles are perfect for causing maximum carnage. At least my supposition, it's a it's, it's river battle. My The only thing, only thing I can think of is that it's this army that's reinforced, that's intercepting this guy. Because these guys all around the bottom of the screen are actually too far away. There's lots of other people in the way. Um, but let's find out. I think it is because it's also based army. But yes, these are absolutely perfect. They're, if anything, they're actually better than sieges for breaking large armies. And they always seem to go for the ford. Every time. I very rarely actually see them go for the go for the actual bridge crossing. I much prefer the ford. Um, he's in the killing field. Okay, good. So, so the bridge is out here. Right at the edge of the battle map. And the ford is here. Pity about the fog. So, let's deploy two batteries out here just to fire at will. Then maybe one here specifically to fire. Oh no, I don't have shrapnel shot to be honest. I might put one straight ahead just to fire canister shot. Then let's put a good bulk of my troops here ready to deploy. Cavalry. Cavalry just holding position. Then four units is already probably overkill. Whoop, there's a sneezing coming. Just a sec, guys. Sorry about that. Um, four units is overkill for the bridge, but just in case they fancy it, it's always good insurance policy. Troops, cavalry stay behind. Okay, go. Like, it's too... It's too far. It's too close to the end of the map. Ooh. It's too close to the edge of the map to be too much... To offer too much, like... I've completely stopped talking then, but what I was trying to say was that it's it's difficult for the AI to actually get much freedom of manoeuvre. Okay, everyone needs to get in position. So you halt. Engaging the native lancers. My artillery's crashing in. Like I said, it's pity about the fog. They're going after my cavalry, which is okay. Just spread them out even more. The artillery's having a hell of a time over here. Lots of bouncing shots. Okay, I hear a charge. So it's not... The only thing that's concerning for me is cavalry. Crossing the gap. Everyone else... So I set my, cav my artillery to hit the camel gunners, even though they're too far away. Camels and cavalry. Well, it's fascinating. Okay, now I'll just set set the canister shot to fire at will. We'll fire into the Sikh warriors because they might be a bit of a trouble. A bit of a. Oh, go on. Second rank. 
Oh, canister shot took a took serious numbers of them out. Gurkha's coming in, so I want to keep the shrapnel shot just rolling. But we are going to get into mass into melee combat. That's going to be inevitable. And against the Gurkhas, it's a bit of a concern. General's bodyguard. Aim for the Gurkhas. Attack ground, actually, because the, these this is going to be. Okay, let's put two units of infantry behind them. Fire will off, I should have said. Come on, sepoys. In you go. I've actually managed to stage a quite a decent crossing. Cavalry. 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 These chaps provide a threat on the flank. Charge in, because that's this is actually now quite a dangerous spot to be in. This is where you charge in your almighty Cavalry in. Ride the charge through. Stop the guns. Come on, regiment of horse. First Kalmar standing off, but they're providing excellent flanking fire into the rear of the enemy formation. So they get this fit for you to pick apart this unit of lancers. I mean, the elephants are going to be tricky. Charge cross into this mess of troops. Camel gunners are routing. Is my artillery continuing to fire at the cannons? My cavalry has had an absolute hell of a time. Charge in, cross the breach, cross the, cross the, cross the river. Take the strategic opportunity. First Kalmars engage this unit of dervishes to wipe them out. General, go clear out this, these levy units. Select everyone, bar. No, we're not selecting the guns anyway. Charge over. So, I want to kill the Gurkhas. Cavalry as damaged as it damaged as it is. I need to route my cavalry around. Route my cavalry around the general's bodyguard. We are going to lose a lot more men than we like just to charge straight into elephants. Go on, just have a go at them. Let 
You can keep going, actually. The general's been killed. Go on, chase down the Gurkhas. Oh yes, yeah, you are meant to charge down them. Absolutely continue, but let's turn off the artillery fire. The infantry just form up. Got everyone against the Gurkhas, I'm not bothered about most of the other units, like Levy, Sikh Musketeers, Dervishes, Cannons. Cannons would be handy, but Gurkhas are the unit that scares me. Good stuff, let's speed up time. Charge my own guns. Didn't kill anyone. So I lost a lot of I lost a lot of cavalry in that battle. I suspect a good chunk of it was because I my, my cannons are probably blasting into into the, my lines. Yep, yeah, they're going to get the last Gurkha. Good stuff. You're in pretty good condition. You go after the Sikh Musketeers. Well, it looks like everyone's going after the Sikh Musketeers. Awesome. Bit more of a bloodbath than I would like. But I don't... I, I'm assuming I just, I just didn't set out my ambush position very well. At least not as well as it could have been. Chop. Yeah, it was, well, it was a bit touch and go at points. It would have been nicer if I had more of a view. So yeah, we still lost, lost a thousand men. They lost three thousand. I mean, if they do it again, no, don't intercept. <laughs> yep. I'm not quite the fool. So now that we those reinforcing armies or units behind them, I'm going to do some merging and then send them in to provide support. There is a port in this region. A that rake in Cuba. Oh, why does it have to Select be the Cuba that I get the rake? Okay. So, experienced units here. Lots of experienced infantry. Where's the Kalmar? First Kalmar. So, make sure they stay in good nick. Also, rank 4 infantry. That's quite good. Four sepoys, but they're probably not going to stay the same. Look, down to rank three. Solid rank three. Company infantry, I don't think I'll be able to save. Yeah, rank two and a rank three. It's not too bad. But that leaves two spots for them to get in. To maintain, to maintain the size of my army. Now, if you actually look at this front. Well, I was you know what I was about to say? We're actually doing pretty well on the numbers front. No, we are not. You pulled back out of the territory. So we fought this battle before, yeah. So we're going to take Katak. Put walls in. See if they can get them repaired in time. Can't build a fort here to support you. Okay, you want foot artillery, that's what you need. Ha, <laughs> speak of the devil. And we're also getting some household cavalry, so that's okay. Send this guy just to go hit Mirza Jang, just to, just to maintain coherency in our lines. Push him up to here. So let's... Do we kill a scholar or a general? Generals are good. Because elephants are frustrating. Damn. 
Workers on strike? Not anymore, because we knocked down your school. Have some taxes. Good stuff for them to spend. Nope, you're already replenishing. Good stuff. There we have got our military governors. We've got our dock, naval dockyard in India. So I'd like to start pumping out some more trade ships to go up to the East India. To the East Indies. When this army's finished and replenished, they're going to go on and take Ahmadnagar. To be honest, we might as well push out with one of these armies. You've only got one weak gun, but we can push out with them. Let's engage, so we can... We've broken their forces in central... Tactical conundrum. They seem convinced to go out there to protect, to recruit some troops to send up there quickly. Because I doubt we'd be able to hold on. I doubt it'll take them more than four turns to get there. But I think we've got them on the run, largely. So where's a good... To be honest, if they're up on the hill... If they're up on the hill, it's not going to matter so much where our guns are. Let's keep the howitzers mobile in case we don't know where, where the enemy are going to come from. Let's put some mortars in. Let's put some sepoys in to cover. Let's actually put in a decent right flank because we're going to need to take the hill regardless. Then a weaker but generally more... Well, I say generally more elite. It's got some marines. We can each get a curiosity air unit and support. My general's ready to rock and roll. They're all going to engage 12 pounders, so the enemy are reinforcing on the left. So we will want to do this. Our mortars will push up to this line too, or howitzers, sorry, and then we will unleash them. Infantry run. Maybe even run up our cuirassiers. Yeah, that, that's enough to convince them of the poor decision. That's some very poor artillery positioning from them. Yep, they are advancing down the hill towards us. Hindu warriors. Let's put our horse guards on the flank, ready to take the hits. We also when we're on the campaign map, we're going to go re-recruit those expat units that got destroyed. Come on, lads. Granted, they're just bowmen, they're not brilliant. But... Okay, the line's been met on one flank. Hindu warriors getting hit ferociously. Better get you, get your Dutch skates on. Fire! No, they've already been broken. Let's drop the howitzers. Let's pivot. Corner of our line. We've met them in fabulous style on the flank. This unit of dervishes fancies their luck. Against the marines, no less. No, expat infantry with their yellow coats. I mean, they fancy their odds the closer they got in. The reinforcements coming in from over there, so we should be able to defeat them in fairly, fairly quick order. Push the bowmen back. Have our mortars, have our howitzers plink it there. General. Yeah, didn't even. We've only got 32 men left, so they can't be that strong. Send the cuirassiers in to the Hindu warriors. Let these guys fire all off so they can re com recompose themselves.
Okay, let's push up some of our infantry. Bear in mind we do have Ellie's up here. Charging. Reposition the troops. With the elephants, they're not necessarily charging, but they're getting into a position I'd rather they didn't. Okay, let's push up the hill. Elephants are routed. So let's send two units up here to head them off in case they come back. Both of our line get to the top of the hill. And let's start to move up onto their position. Limber up our howitzers. And our foot artillery, even though. And if I attack move my mortars, yep, they will shuffle along. Good stuff. Okay, they're not coming back in a hurry, so let's get them out on the flank. Go, go, gadget Gurkhas. Here, I think. That's a run too. We want to catch those Gurkhas in the open ground. Charge the bowmen down. Charge the bowmen uphill. It's a brilliant new tactical plan. I see those Gurkhas moving. Come on, Crossiers, buy us some time. We're charging bowmen uphill with heavy cavalry. In the melee clash, bash! There's more Gurkhas coming in. Yep, sure is, but they're coming in in column. Okay, let's run our cuirassiers through. They're starting to die. And they'll die even more when I do this. Engage the Gurkhas. Their bodies are in the way. Law to them. Turn the firewall off. Because these dervishes really want to go on my cavalry. It isn't going to happen. Bring my cavalry up. Yeah, my heart says it's. Artillery is a sideshow now. Okay, turn the firewall on now. Because they've changed bearing. Brilliant Hindu musketeers. They don't even know the tactical blunder they've done because they're looking the wrong. Oh, now they've twigged. Uh oh. Quick. We wanted to cover the wall, but not that side. Push up. Poor Hindu musketeer unit is not going to last. Okay, now 
here comes the tricky, not the tricky bit, just here's another squad of Gurkhas. Oh, the Dervish has actually made it into combat. I mean, where's my general? Let's get my general over here to deal with these guys. Ah, you're being attacked in the flank now. Cover involved, just smash straight into their, their artillery. What are you guys standing there doing nothing? Go on, Cressiers, don't stand for this nonsense. You guys may as well go back if you don't want to fight. general into the Gurkhas as well. Get these guys to knock out the guns. Smash. I should really have more of a mix of cavalry. When I've got heavy cavalry which I should want, which I would want to keep as more countering their cavalry. But then I'd also want to have light cavalry to take advantage of targets of opportunity like this. I'm letting my infantry deal with the mortars in a bit of revenge. As they're running super slow more. Go on general. Gurkha time. Absolutely continue. There's only one, there's only a handful of men left, and they're all the mortar team, mortar crews. So, wait a minute. What? Oh. Okay. I was confused. I could see the emblem on the map, and I thought, wait a minute, is it telling me the mortars are alive? But that's a good win. Which meant that it, it's opened up the. Oh, opened up the west coast for us so this chap even though he's not strictly speaking out of the woods yet well, not he's out of the woods he's not complete yet he's in a good spot you can consolidate forwards as can they suddenly we've got a free hand in the west the east is a bit dodgier but as long as this guy holds firm it looks like they do want to go for Katak Let's hit in turn. This is where it could get mighty dodgy. But we'll soon find out. It really depends on how how kind the AI is feeling. Um, ooh, that's lots of text. Let's have a proper read of that. Uh, no. I'm not going to give you all of those. For Cadence Marching, I don't really care about. And 4,000. Nope. To be honest, there are very few. Like, you've got Fire by Rank, you've got Quick Lime, you've got a couple of the economic ones. They're pretty big. But yes, you have to rebalance. I've blown the centre of your formation wide open, and you've got to do something about it. Mughal Empire, or else you're going down.
And they've desperately got to go find a new school. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Uh, might have pulled you back. You won this one. We need a bit of replenishment, that's what we want. Yep, more than happy to let them raid. Do not care about raids. Raids are manageable. Raids are more frustrating than anything else. But they are not. They're not a real strategy changer. They don't do much damage economically. This region that has not yet been developed. I'm not giving you a global trading company. No way. Okay, so I need to... So I can I recruit expat infantry? Have I got them all? Who's got them then? I've, I thought they all died. There's one there. Ah, oh, the Nordic and the Swedish Legion. They survived. So what was the convention there? 46th North. So, it's, so we've got... Nordic, Swedish, and I'm fairly sure it's the Nordic Finns and the Nordic Swedes and the Finnish Legion. Good, so they survive, albeit in separate armies. But you can you can already start to see the the wealth of India starting to really crank up. Oh, you cavalry's going up to Conrad. Let's bring this chap back to the fort in case they in case these guys fancy their luck. This army go in and hit Ahmadnagar. Put them under siege. Oh, they are fairly grumpy about it, so we don't have to bring over Conrad. Eh, they'll be okay for one turn. They will write a letter of complaints. Because you can't build happiness buildings. I don't want to knock them down yet either. You know what, actually, what I need to do is build a church school and start to get that religious unrest down. Start to spread Catholicism. Where's the general? There he is, Mohinda. Assassinate Mohinda. 16%. Ah. Damn. Uh, you push up. Help support, help support the garrison. Three turns. Push back up through. Because it seems like it's, they've rebalanced again. And the howitz is up towards Hyderabad, and the infantry also. You stay where you are. Okay, let's get the tea warehouse. And then another tea warehouse. Cotton. Cotton. What do you call this? Cotton. That's another cotton warehouse. Another church school because I really need to start spawning priests here. Let's upgrade the dockyard. Make sure that everyone that can reinforce is reinforcing. I might even send you to take the fort. I mean, I might as well just keep upgrading some of the military buildings here. Because the Mughal Empire, decent navy, army's a bit lacklustre. We're not even on here because we're a miner. But soon we're going to be the most powerful faction on the map. Okay, awesome. So I think I'm going to hit enter and see what happens here. 
because then that would be quite a good um, quite a good event to end the part on if they do do anything because there's always there's always the possibility that they just didn't, the Ottomans haven't crashed my game I could intercept them in a siege, and I think I will have to do that. Especially that's a pretty naff army. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another Defence of Hyderabad. They do love Hyderabad. Cheers, everyone.